because I think we both think that the uh, answers to some of the more difficult questions um, on the how-to of creating relationships, maintaining relationships, really reside with all of us. Um, so to get started, we thought that we would do a go-round. Uh, your name, your affiliation, if you have one, what state are you from, uh, who are your senators and reps, and briefly their positions on uh, Israel-Palestine issues, and uh, have you lobbied before, and I'll, I can remind you of all these questions, and one do or don't that you would, uh, that you think is really important to uh, creating and maintaining relationships. Phrase or sentence on what either a do or a don't. And I'll write them on So maybe we can start with you. Uh, my name is Jeff Klein. I come from the Dorchester neighborhood of Boston, and I'm in the 9th Congressional District of Massachusetts. My representative is Stephen Lynch, who uh, has become a real believer in this issue. Uh, it's still a little bit of a mystery. Exactly what kind of chairman, but he's uh, one of the top few in the Congress who is speaking out on this issue. And, uh, I represent uh, an anti war group called Dorchester People for Peace, which just joined the U.S. campaign uh, a month or so ago. And you are do or don't? Do or don't? Yeah. What, what, uh, what is a do or a don't uh, for uh, creating, maintaining relationships with a local, with a rep? Well, I don't know if this is a do for everybody, but I uh, I contact my rep after every vote, good or bad, uh, on this issue. And uh, mm -hmm. lately, I'm happy, happy to say they've been mostly good. And uh, you know, I say, uh, thanks. How do you contact them? What? How? How do I contact? Right. You pick up the I phone email and, and call. And I, and I always use a good thing. Uh, this is a good do, I think. When you write to the rep, if you know who his uh, staffers are, his foreign policy staffer and the local staffer that services the neighborhood, CC to them, they're more likely to read it than he is. CC, who, sorry? The staffer, the foreign policy oh. staffer and uh -huh. the local sort of uh, service staffer. And it strikes me that they're more likely to read a letter than, he, than the rep is himself. Or they're going to decide what letters they should point out to them. Okay. Great. And my oh, and have you lobbied before? I yeah. assume yes. My name is Corinne. I'm a resident of D.C., uh, Representative uh, Norton. And I'm here independently. Um, I think a do for lobbying, I guess, is uh, to use my own words. I would not say I bought people for it. And we also have don'ts, you know, I feel strongly about a don't. My name is Karen Beatty. I'm from uh, Code Pink, New York. Um, I'm representative of the uh, Blanchett Village area of New York. It's Gerald Madler. He's right on everything except this. Uh, he really supports <coughs> um, Let's see, what else? Position of that. Oh, I said his position. Yeah. And uh, any, any do or 
don't. Um, do bring students if you have them. You can round them up and bring students. And the don't would just don't talk in generalities. You have to be very specific. Just foreign policy. Just foreign policy. Yeah, a, a meeting, just a meeting request. Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, I, I, I tend to, to go to to um, sort of advocates who are going to be who are basically to be very candid who can help me do my job. You know, help me prepare information things like that. So, do is to be useful. I would say to don't is unless you're with a member of Congress himself or herself, then keep your meeting short. I say ideally. Be able to get everything done in 15 minutes. Sometimes the meeting might go long, but try, try to keep it 15 minutes. And then if the staffer has, has a bit more time, then go go half hour. But absolutely, there's no way it should ever, ever be more than half hour. Um, and then the second, I, I'm sorry to be crude, but just, just the reality, to be honest, because it's unlikely you're going to want to go to a group again that's in a long meeting, unless it's like a huge group. And then um, second uh, don't is, uh, and I know this is sort of antithetical to sort of Ask this, but don't don't drop off a pack of information if there's not a concise one-page summary of the key asks that you're looking for. So, because you know, I every Friday at the end of the week, I, I throw away a stack like this big, and I feel really bad because I used to be an advocate and I used to be, I used to write and prepare all that stuff, and to see the extent to which I to be very candid, I need to say this, it's just thrown away. Um, or it's recycled, I should say, just because we just get so much. But what I do, what I do keep is I do keep a folder of like one-page summaries of issues, because then there I can go back and say, okay, I need a one-page summary about military tribunals. I need a one-page summary about you know, violence against women in Ecuador, something like that. That's helpful to me, especially on an issue that I don't know much about. So uh, don't don't give long. No one's going to read a twenty-page. They'll come to you if they want that stuff. So you'll have a chance to um, share more or less yeah. to okay. go yeah. off to another session. But, but um, I think everybody here is a resource. Everyone here is a resource. Yes. Uh, I'm Doug Kerr from Cleveland, Ohio. We're going to meet tomorrow with our representative, Marsha Fudge. <laughs> So your your do 